more than just numbers? Maths is the language of nature, of the cosmos, of the existence from the sunsets to the sunrises we see every day. Nature relies on that to show you the rays of falling leaf, the surface area of every water drop on Earth, and the way every animal. First off, we'll be discussing the math and the weather. Equations of maths can show us the patterns in climate and help us to save lives from natural disasters. From earthquakes to tornadoes, equations can give us the power to predict Earth's emotions in its weather. The way a plant develops is illustrated by countless numbers of organisms. Math is found in the symmetry of all flowers. The complex root systems of every plant and the arrangement of leaves on a tree. The golden angle can tell us how a flower will fall, even before it has sprouted. The pattern fur of a zebra is a sequence of math in its own right. Each zebra has its own unique pattern written by the math within inheritance. The area and perimeter of each tiger's territory, species by species, apparently seems random. But math can give us sense in the form of charts and data. Math tells us how many litres of air a dolphin's lungs can hold and its fundamental architecture. However, math is not just restricted to Earth. Math is not just the language of nature, but also the entire universe. Maths can also be beautiful. Computers use math in the form of binary code, and this language of math gives them the capability to create things of beauty through seemingly magic animation. Of course, it is simply math and creativity working hand in hand. The cosmos obeys the laws of maths, from the position of the moon affecting the tides to the collapse of supermassive stars. By understanding maths, we can simulate every phenomenon in the universe, giving us the capability to understand how everything that ever worked, works. So is math really more than just numbers? Long answer, all of the above. But I mean...